Hey there and welcome back. This is your Movers and Mints Daily for July 29th, 2022. My name's Goldie and this is the daily show that brings you the most popular Solana NFTs over the past 24 hours and we talk about one popular upcoming mint that's going to be launching soon. So before we dive into all of that, always want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor, so please Use this video for entertainment purposes only. Never be willing to put up more money than you can afford to lose. This is purely to just bring you the most recent popular NFTs on the marketplace, and that's it, all right? So secondly, I always wanna say subscribe, like this video, drop a comment, share this with a friend. I just wanna provide you high level information, give you the ball, and you run with it from there, all right? So I do this on a daily basis and it's a lot of work, so any interaction is greatly appreciated. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's dive in to the top five popular Solana NFTs over the past 24 hours, starting with number five. And it's really interesting to see new trends popping up because number five is gonna be the Solana Lucky Wheel. Yes, gambling seems to be very popular in the Solana NFT space now. That's the hot ticket item. So uh, Solana Lucky Wheel is at a one floor price right now. Now they just did debut, so there's really no day over day data, but 2003 in Solana in volume since they've come around. So quite a bit here. Um, now the average price for one of these is 3.11. And like I said, I'm just giving you high level information. I don't do deep dives into this stuff. So obviously the art is all the same. If we click on the details of these guys, they're really, you know, the type is, I think, what makes the differentiator. So this one's a golden one. Um, welcome to Solana Lucky Wheel, the first Lucky Wheel to be available on Solana blockchain. Get ready for a new DGen game. Place your bets and have fun. It's a smart contract that allows users to spin their Solana token with a potential of 10x your bet. SLW collects a 5% fee in each deposit and withdrawal and 4% is distributed to holders. So there's your value in getting that NFT. So interesting to see this one pop up. These do blaze like the sun and then fade out. I've seen a bunch of these pop up and die, but who knows, we'll see. Obviously I'm doing this daily, so we'll check on this tomorrow, see if it's in the top five. And let's move on to number four, which is another gambling NFT. So this one is called Monkey Coin Flip. 1,000 of these guys, Monkey Coin Flip, building the best coin flip on Solana Beach. 90% profit sharing, so that's pretty cool. Now, the floor price, again, is pretty low for this. It's a 0 0.7. These did just come out as well. Um, so they've done 2,193 in Solana volume since they've debuted, which obviously is quite a bit for a floor price that low, but a project like this is meant to be flipped. It's meant to be interactive. So not surprising that it's high, but this is very high. Um, not much to say with this one though, aside from it's another gambling one. If you're into that scene, this might be one to check out for you. On to number three, and this one is a familiar face that's really making a name for themselves, and that's gonna be the Fruits. They've been ripping it since they have come onto the scene. Um, their floor price is I'm not going to say steadily, but it's, you know, just dipping ever so slightly on a daily basis. 4.19 they're at right now. 2,207 in volume in Solana in the past 24 hours. That is a 30% decrease. We might start to see these guys cool off just a little bit, but um, the idea of this project, they're doing a lot of subsidiary um, projects where they're going to open like a juicery smoothie kind of place. They want to do IRL merch and stuff like that as well, amongst many other things. The link for them is below if you want to check it out. Um, but as is all of the projects we talk about on, on the show on a daily basis here, but they've been on for a couple weeks and that's 61,000 in uh, volume so far is pretty darn impressive. So keep it going fruits, rooting for you. You're doing a great job so far. It's cool to see successful projects emerge in a bear market. On to number two, Speaking of bears, you like that, huh? We're talking about the OK Bears. The OK Bears are one of the premier blue chip NFT projects on the blockchain. Now, it is interesting to see what's happening with these guys. Down to 71 and a half floor price. It seemed like forever there was a hard resistance at 100. Not sure what's going on with these, but it doesn't surprise me that their volume is up as their floor price is down. 
People see this as an opportunity to get into this project at a low price point, obviously with the expectations of it to move up. They've done 2,243 in Solana in the past 24 hours. That's a 182% increase day over day, which like I just mentioned, isn't surprising. I think people are, who have the money are jumping into this to get in as it dips and then ride its coattails to the moon. So that is all we're gonna talk about with the OK Bears coming in at number two now. Number one is one that's been around for a while, but they're just emerging with a surge over the past day here, and that's going to be Shadowy Super Coder Dow. Um, these guys have a 61 and a half floor price, so very high. Um, they've really been in the stratosphere since they've come onto the scene, since they burst on. Um, 3,040 Solana in volume over the past day, 40% increase. So. Most of the time when you see a project that's been around for a while have a big spike like that, typically that tells me there was some kind of news, some kind of announcement, or some kind of change in the NFT. I don't know specifically. That's why, like I tell you every time on these shows, what I do is I just bring you information in a nice little neat package, give you some hints, and then you take it and run with it and do with it what you will. But Shadowy Super Coder Dow is number one today, and that's going to round it out for the top five projects over the past 24 hours. Now let's move on to a pretty interesting project coming up here that's gonna be minting. Now if you're new to the show, what I do is I go to the drop calendar on Magic Eden and then I filter by the number of upvotes on the trending tab. The reason I do that is because in order to vote, you know, to put an upvote in the system, you need to be logged in. So it's kind of like an anti-cheating thing. You know, it actually has to be a person that does it. Um, so these are actual, you know, true upvotes. Now, this does usually show a strong community. Usually they get hype in the Discord or whatever. So I've done all these up here. So we're going down to Ducks Wit Attitude. So what's interesting about this one is 2010 upvotes, which is a lot, don't get me wrong. We've done some with 4,000 though before, but this one is launching pretty soon, but there's a public mint. When I say pretty soon, I say August 7th, it's July 29th. So we've still got like another week, day, couple days. But also the public mint is way down the road. So to see this type of hype early, I thought it caught my eye. It's interesting. And it's piggybacking off of an original project as well. So Ducks with Attitude is 5,000 collection of ducks living on the Solana blockchain, over 100 draw, hand-drawn traits to make every duck unique in its own way. The art depicts early 90s hip hop, gang era with a modern day twist. The collection centers around five main characters that are leaders of the game, forcing a rebellion against the hierarchy and broke away from a gang syndicate on the quest to rule the pond. Ducks with attitudes, merging art, music, and crypto into a one of a kind collection. So a little bit of a longer description there, but I think that gives you the idea of what it is, but it's piggybacking off of punk ducks. So Punk Dunks was kind of a derivative of Soul Punks. If you know what Soul Punks are, the OG Solana NFT project. They were literally the first project to mint. So they took that art and made it Ducks, made their own thing. Now they're picking backing Ducks with attitudes off of that um, to create this collection. Now why is that important? Because if you hold a Punk, a punk Duck, you get a whitelist token and you can mint a Duck with attitude. Here's their Twitter page, 7,096 followers, and they're leveraging their current following community you know, into their new project here as well. I love that straight out of the pond. Pretty cool, pretty funny, witty. Brings back some uh, memories of the 90s there. Switching over to their website, it's very informative. I'm not gonna you know, pick it apart here, but you can dive into this if you are interested in this project and really take a look and see basically everything you're going to need to know about this project. Um, then heading over to their Discord, this is where I was talking about what's impressive to me. If you look, their public mint is September 4th, it says in their Discord. So we're talking a month and a couple days out. Meaning, with those 2,000 plus like upvotes on the Magic Eden drop calendar, that's what caught my attention. That's a lot of votes early on for a project. Um, I obviously would expect that to really kind of hockey stick as it gets closer to the mint. So good job at creating a lot of hype here. There's gonna be a 5,000 supply here and there's 655 people in their server right now, but I'd assume there's a lot more. You can see on the top left here, this is what the punk ducks look like over there. Um, you got your info, you got your official links, sneak peeks, you know, what the artwork is gonna look like. 
and uh, you have your general community stuff. They do a lot of giveaways, and then they got their support there. So pretty standard stuff, uh, but interesting project. You know, a little bit of ways away, but generating a lot of excitement early on, and that's why I wanted to cover that one today for the mint of the day. And let's wrap it up for Movers and Mints Daily. That'll do it. So again, I always appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I try to burn through this fit as much information that is relevant to you and package it in a nice tight bow and deliver it to you every day. So this is a grind. I really appreciate you taking the time to like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys leave some really nice comments and I really appreciate that. I'm doing the work. I'm out here grinding for you. I promise you, you're getting one of these every day, come hell or high water. So we'll see you tomorrow for another Movers and Mints Daily. Remember, my name's Goldie. I'm checking out from Frisco, Texas. Have a great Friday night, and we'll see you tomorrow.